Hi, I'm Chris Bowers. I'm the K-5 technology teacher here at Holland Public Schools, and I'm here with Dr. Ann Thorpe from the OAISD. And this week we've been working with coding. Um, as you can see here, I've got Dash, who the kids have been driving around with their iPads through Bluetooth. And we've also introduced Spark, Sphero. We used Spark with the older students, and what they had to do was open their iPad app called Learning Lab, and they were then given some challenges that they had to fulfill using the Spark and the Learning Lab. Some of the challenges included rolling their Spark so that it was moving around the room and then coming back to them. Others included changing the color and then racing with their classmates. The students were put in groups of three and four, and it was amazing how well they worked together, how well they learned, how well they kept on going and exploring and experimenting, and the success that we saw from each student was amazing. Moving over to Dash here, we used with the younger grades, and we used young, this one with the younger grades because he's a little bit bigger, and he speaks, and the kids love that. Not only that, they get to program him to speak and say what they would like it to say. He also changes color and blinks a lot, and because he has wheels on the bottom, he also turns in different directions. His head turns, and the students, again, worked in small groups. They had partners, learning partners, counterparts, and a lot of collaborative learning went on. It was very engaging, and the students were tickled pink and very, very excited about their learning and application. As we've been working with coding this week with elementary students in Jefferson and West, we see a lot of this being used throughout the state of Michigan, the United States, and other opportunities throughout NASA and other programs that use technology. The students were pretending that they were scientists today and yesterday throughout the whole week using these tools in using critical thinking, collaboration, planning, and executing their plans in coding. They're all ready to be NASA programmers. And don't forget to visit the Holland Public Schools website and Facebook page where you can find information on upcoming school events, news, sports, photos, videos, and much more.